Hi, it's Simon Miliano here from Top 10 VPN. Here you can see me using the open source Wireshark software to capture and analyze network traffic from one of the 100 VPNs I tested as part of my research into the dangers of free Android VPNs. This allowed me to investigate and confirm encryption failures and various leaks, as well as other useful information, such as the handshake protocols and cipher suites used by each VPN. So let's dive into a couple of specific examples. Here we can see a file containing all the data packets I captured from a test session with an Android app called VPN Satoshi. As part of the session, I activated the VPN and visited several top 10 VPN domains. If the VPN is working correctly, you should not be able to see any evidence of those domains in the intercepted packets. Unfortunately, as you can see here, there are multiple examples of packets where the top 10 VPN domain is revealed when it should be hidden. I want to focus on this particular HTTP request, however, as it is evidence of VPN encryption failing completely. Here you can see not only the domain, but the full URL string of page-12.html and the page content. This same information will be easily accessible by your ISP or network administrator, making it the worst kind of VPN failure, as it fully exposes your internet browsing activity. Now let's turn to another VPN, GoFly. Looking at the packets I captured from my test session with this VPN, we can see evidence of DNS leaks. If this VPN was configured correctly, these DNS requests for the top 10 VPN domain would have gone through the encrypted VPN tunnel and remained safe from prying eyes. Instead, I've been able to intercept them and see evidence of my internet browsing activity. And of course, if I can intercept them, others can too. Now, let's add a filter to only show DNS requests. A VPN with no DNS leaks will show very few results here, or better still, none at all. Unfortunately, that's clearly not the case for GoFly. Here we can see all sorts of DNS requests, including for ad tracking domains like Google's DoubleClick, for WhatsApp, and for various user tracking platforms. Worst though is this DNS request from the BBC website that just confirms that all my internet activity is being exposed by this leaky VPN. Let's turn now to another kind of leak that I found in several VPNs during my testing. It wasn't especially widespread, but it was still frequent enough to be a concern. Let's filter these data packets I intercepted during a test session with Speedy Quark VPN while it was connected. Here we can see 16 HTTP packets that contain unencrypted data in the JSON format. If we pop open this frame and scroll down to the payload, we can see that it contains personally identifiable information all in plain text. Here you can see multiple PII data points, including city, postcode, latitude and longitude, ISP and IP address. We can see that this data is coming from this 208.95 IP address, which resolves to an IP geolocation API endpoint. The sharing of this data is not in itself a particular cause for concern, as is part of common VPN functionality. However, this is not a secure method of retrieving such sensitive data. Without encryption, it can be easily intercepted by anyone on the same network, or through a man-in-the-middle attack.